A Colorado Springs man facing jail time after a veterinarian noticed his dog had injuries consistent with blunt force trauma and called animal control. Now the Yorkie recovering at the Humane Society of the Pikes Peak region. Laura Wilson in studio tonight with more on this case. Laura. Well, the Humane Society says Tiffany the Yorkie is doing well given the circumstances. Unfortunately, these types of cases are not uncommon in El Paso County. 11 year old Tiffany is finally in good hands. She's getting tired of it. <laughs> After suffering what animal law enforcement believes was abuse. She is extremely sweet dog um, and her injuries were pretty significant. Um, a lot of bruising. A radiograph revealed she also suffered a broken pelvis. The suspect, Michael Barron, who authorities say had, quote, caretaking responsibilities, is facing one count of animal cruelty. It's a misdemeanor charge for now. An animal cruelty charge becomes uh, a felony if it's an aggravated, uh, if there's aggravating circumstances um, surrounding the case or if it's a second or subsequent offense. Oh, Tiffany, I love you. I Tiffany's new caretaker. We're kind of off mates though says the senior sweetheart is expected to make a full recovery what she needs is time and rest and restricted activity and pain management um, to monitor um, how she's doing but she won't be the last abused dog to come into their care this year our officers do investigate thousands of cases of animal cruelty throughout the year um, not all of them are uh, this severe um, but it does happen Animal Control encourages the public to call and report any suspicions of animal abuse, telling News 5 you are able to remain anonymous. So as it stands, this misdemeanor charge holds a maximum penalty of 18 months in jail and up to $5,000 worth of fines.